We've played over at uh, the Broad Art Gallery, you know, a few other gigs here and there when we get asked just by people who walk by and hear us play. But I mean, we're not really a band. We're really, just, it's really just, it's me and whoever shows up in a, on any given week is, is the group. And so, and then we just call tunes and play the tunes. It's sometimes called old time music. It's really just a collection of fiddle tunes from uh, Southern Appalachian Mountains, but also from uh, fiddle tunes from Illinois and from Michigan. We sometimes have other faculty come and play but a lot of these uh, folks here today are just community members people that musicians that just kind of play around town and in other jam sessions and it's not a formal arrangement outside of the fact that it's every Tuesday night from 7:30 till whenever during the school year there's been a big a big old-time music scene in town here since the 70s I started playing this kind of music in the 70s and kind of just kept up with it music's been a passion of mine what I say now is that since I'm retired now I'm doing my life Work, which is playing music. I just really enjoy it. So, just it's a good excuse to kind of get together and hang with your friends. Jam sessions like this are also a great uh, place to learn new tunes. Getting a better ear as a musician, like being able to kind of pick up tunes after just hearing them a few times. I mean, all those things develop through jam sessions. And then just you know the social aspect of just hanging out. I'll do it until until Snyder decides to <laughs> to kick me out of the of the lounge there. I'll do it as long as uh, as long as I'm able.